Today, a CDC panel recommended an extra Pfizer shot for those who are 65 and older. And even some younger people with underlying health issues can get it. As Christina Rex explains, the first boosters could go out as soon as tomorrow. All it takes now is for the CDC director to sign off on these recommendations. And then immediately, booster shots can go into the arms of tens of millions of Americans. Helmet, no complex. Yeah. Booster shots are on the way. A CDC advisory panel voted Thursday to recommend Pfizer booster shots for people 65 years and older and 50 to 64 year olds with underlying medical conditions. I think it's terrific. Bill Clark is immunocompromised and already got his third dose and says he encourages others eligible to do the same. Newly eligible Carol Genovese can't wait. I highly recommend getting the booster shot. I'll get it as soon as it's available to me. It's not only for older Americans, though. After much debate, a narrow majority approved booster shot access for Americans ages 18 to 49 with underlying medical conditions. But despite the FDA approving the booster for people at risk because of their jobs, the CDC panel rejected the third shot for this group. I do think essential workers need a boost so that we can keep food on the shelves, lights on, and hospitals staffed. Dr. Shira Darone of Tufts Medical Center called the vote disappointing, saying she hopes essential workers are reconsidered for a booster in the near future. We are having a problem maintaining our staffing and providing the essential service that we are supposed to provide because we have people who are fully vaccinated getting COVID and it's almost always mild, but they have to go out for 10 days. The first shot, that's what I want. The big focus still, getting people that first dose. This pop-up vaccine clinic in Boston's Back Bay Thursday tried to motivate the vaccine hesitant to get a shot. Everybody's been really pleasant, but a lot of people are still not getting a shot, and that's what we want. We want people to get the shot. And experts both on the CDC panel as well as here at home say they do worry about the consequences of this booster recommendation for unvaccinated people. And they hope that the state and country continue to focus on getting first shots into arms of people who have yet to get vaccinated. In Cambridge, Christina Rex, WBZ News.